Good morning, Clay Chapel. This is Veronica Rowan. And Franco Dari with CCN TV. Today is Friday, September 13th, and here are your announcements for the day. We start today with several announcements from our counselors. The NACA College Fair will be in Birmingham this Sunday, September 15th. It will be held at the BJCC from 1 to 4 p.m. This is a free opportunity to meet with college recruiters to get help with financial aid, applying to college, and many other things. Students in all grades are encouraged to attend. Speaking of college recruiters, a recruiter from the University of West Alabama will be here on Monday, September 16th. A recruiter from Huntington College will be here on campus on Tuesday, September 17th, and a recruiter from Spring Hill College will be here on Wednesday, September 18th. These colleges will be set out outside the cafeteria during lunch. Make sure to stop by if you're interested in any of their academic programs. Finally, any juniors or seniors who are interested in serving as a mentor in the Big Brother slash Big Sister program this year need to see Ms. Snowden in the counselor's suite for an application. The deadline to turn in completed applications is September 20th. Now let's hand it over to Franco with important club and school news. Key Club will have a meeting on Tuesday, September 17th at 7.25 a.m. in Ms. Caffey's room. All current and potential members are welcome to attend. All girls interested in trying out for softball need to stop by Coach Phillips' room, room 157, to sign up and get information. Students interested in participating with the math team this year should stop by room 157 and speak to Mr. Phillips. Permission forms for flu shots will be passed out in homeroom. These vaccines are free to you and your family. If you have insurance, the company will be charged, but no student and family will be charged, regardless of insurance status. Please return these forms to Nurse Keener. Flu shots will be given here at school on October 10th. And finally, the biggest item of school news, homecoming, which kicks off on Monday. Let's head back over to Terry for some special homecoming announcements. The Powder Puff football game will be Thursday, September 19th at 2 o'clock p.m. If you are interested in playing, coaching, or cheering, please bring $10 to Ms. Pittman or Ms. Sharkey by this Friday. The cost includes a t-shirt, tickets to watch the game are $3 and will be on sale Wednesday the 18th and Thursday the 19th in the lunchroom. Do you know your dress up days? Here's the lineup. Monday is Marvel Monday. Dress up as your favorite Marvel character or wear a Marvel shirt. Tuesday is Sleeping Beauty, wear your pajamas. Wednesday is Walt Disney Wednesday, dress up as your favorite Disney character. Thursday is Monster U, rep your favorite college. And last but not least, Friday is Cougar Spirit Day, wear your CCHS colors to show your school spirit. We want to encourage all students to dress up and have fun next week. Remember that you must stay in dress code on dress up days. Good morning, CCHS. This is Nicholas C. with CCN TV, and welcome back to your weekly sports recap. Last Friday, the football team took on a talented park crossing team. In the first quarter, a pass from Damian Ward to Tyler Hicks put us on the board. Jaron Van Winkle put on the show, making field goals from 40, 37, 32, and 31 yards, scoring a total of 13 points. Your Offensive Player of the Week is Jaron Van Winkle, and your Defensive Player of the Week is Devin Owens. Please come out to support the Cougars tonight at home versus Penton Valley. Make sure you wear your neon. This has been Nicholas C. with CCN TV and your weekly sports recap.
Hold up. What's up? My name is Gage Horton. I'm a senior. So I am the band captain for the marching band. I am also a Boy Scout who just earned my Eagle Scout. And I am also a student ambassador. I'm a National Honor Society. So Eagle Scout is the highest rank in Boy Scouts. You start out when you're 11 and then you work up and up to get to this point and you have to earn a ton of merit badges and you have to serve as a leader and you have to do something called an Eagle Scout project where you build something that helps benefit the community. Like this. So I built this because I was looking for a project to do and Ms. Raspberry said, hey, some, class, some teachers won't have their classes outside so you should build an outdoor classroom for them to do that at. And I said, okay. So I did all the planning I had to do for it. I raised my money for it. I got it for my troop and we built the base for it. And then we bought these kits. We built the kits. We painted and we put in the podium. And the city of Clay laid the gravel. At times it can be hard to balance being in band and being in Boy Scouts, but most of the time it's pretty easy. The most stressful part was getting everybody together and getting the plan done and you have to worry about is it going to go according to plan what issues are going to pop up so being a leader in the band and being in boy scouts it increases your maturity level and it gives you leadership skills and people in your community see you as a leader and makes you look good i guess Today's lunch will be a sausage biscuit, french toast sticks, yogurt, hash browns, and sliced tomatoes. Monday's breakfast will be pizza, grit, cereal toast, fruit, milk, and some juice to wash it down. Don't forget to come out tonight and support our varsity football team as they take on the Pinson Valley Indians. We want it to be a glow out, so wear your neon and go all out for our biggest rivalry of the year. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, CCHS.